Hello everyone, welcome to my craft like room. My name is Wendy Porter and I am the lap tray now. crafter, an independent so stamping up demonstrator designer here in North Devon. Here. Today I'm going to make a very simple very thank you card using the elegantly very said this time stamp is set, gray, which is part of the Simply Elegant paper. Suite that's in the, the annual catalogue that just started gray. a few weeks ago. So and this do, is gorgeous. So I love the whole lot. So let's the papers first. are just to die for. And if there. you've been following me on either YouTube or Facebook, like you will have seen well. some That's cards really nice. that I made that, I um, nice at my for, Stamp and Sip on line that I hold on or a Saturday. Christmas. So let's oh, get nice. on. Here is the flower, which I've already oh, put onto a D block. And my card is going to be C6 in size, so that is A4, folded in half and then cut in half to give me this size, which is 5 and 7 eighths by 4 and 1 eighth. And I've already embossed a piece of very vanilla, and this measures 3 and 3 quarters oh by 5 and a half, and I've here. used the elegantly floral uh, 3D so embossing to, folder because I thought we're having a flowery theme today so, so that I'm going to use. use now I'm going to do some you embossing know, so today that bit of stamp, uh, embossing, first thing I need to do, do is I need some card to do some embossing flower. onto yeah. so I've got a piece here this is going to be the inside of my here. card and then this is going to be the front and so this comes from the, I think it's the Stitch So Sweetly set, but I will paper, do a blog a, post a and I'll of, list all the, prod, all the products that I've Let's used. Card. So let's I get going. Now I need gold. to use Versamark. So, well, well, and those of you that don't know, Versamark so do has no colour to it. The pad looks a bit messy, but that's only because I've used it a lot. And you can refill it too. So I'm just tapping all over. And what I'm going to do is with my Versa mark. So it's very sticky. To stamp so the flowers. And just line this up. So I'm just going to put a flower in the centre. I'm going to stamp one here. And then I'm also going to <coughs> stamp part of the flower. Okay, we'll do another one. Let's turn that over. Yeah. So just here. So I can just about make out on where the, that one is. This is to go so on the inside of my card. Make sure they don't overlap each other. Right. So I definitely now I'm going to, to bring in some embossing powder. And I'm going to use gold. Okay. So I, what I need to do bit. is I need to pour yeah. some embossing powder so onto like I would do the image that I've done. And I like to just put mine in a tray because I can be a bit messy. So I transferred it from the little pot that it came that into flower, that into flower there a container. In the corner. And then I'm going to pour it over okay. with a spoon. Just give my stamp a clean. With Versamark, you do have to clean your stamps because the, the stuff that's on the um, see a few little stray the bits is there. Quite, I, I'll quite, get a little. Um, sticky. I've got a little brush, and I will probably brush those off. Okay. Right now, what colour am I going to bring in? I said gold. Gold there embossing powder. Right on the top. Let's give that a tap on the reverse. Oh. So, Oops. as this is a bit bigger, Oops. I'm going to bring in my little that wasn't very tray. Good. Tap it. There we go. Lovely. Let's put that away. As you can see, I have got spoons. 
bits in all of my clean off any clothes, little bits that you think are just because I'm so not actually part of the pattern so because once they're heated gonna, you won't be able to remove this them all over here and I find the spoons and are this much looks easier. fine that one's okay if we're doing stamp and sit so now I'm going it's to bring in my ladies to put and what I prefer to do is I prefer to use a little cutting board and I just prefer to keep these on here like so that way I don't burn my fingers there we go and I'm going to bring in my heat tool so be careful of the sap the noise not close your ears a bit it's looking I'm just good. heating this up that is looking lovely look at that pretty pretty And when you're in bossing, you don't want to keep waving it, it. just point it at, just a in the direction of where your embossed powder is, and then it won't blow off. That's there, popping that and and also, that you'll get a nice even... Does it look like I need to brush mm. any off? I don't know whether you can see this. It's starting to change colour. From a dusty brown and a lovely gold. There you go. Right, so close your eyes. Hello, Val. Welcome. How are you? Oh, Judy's back. Hello, Judy. I loved your your giraffes. They were so fabulous. How are you doing, Val? How was your journey home? So put your plugs in. And once this is done, what I'd like to do is just warm it on the other side. And I find that takes out any kinks that might appear. You see it changing colour. Mm -hmm. Now we're ready to put that on the front of our card. Right, so first this thing I want to do is I'm this. going to this nice glue my embossed piece of card as the corner piece of shirt from that very straight mm. and just just emboss that straight. Burnish it, that's it. Lovely. Now, I'm going to use liquid glue. If you've um, done some embossing with an embossing folder, I find it much easier to uh, glue your piece on. There you go. Oops, I think I need some okay. new glue. Another bit of um, with liquid glue. Another bit of Embossing, heat embossing. Because obviously done. you've got to Yay, contend with the um, the embossed right, pieces. Where's my card? So let's pop that on our card. Where did I put my card, girls? Like uh, so. Oh dear, what did I do with my card? Oh, there go, it is. I found it. I found it. And now right, I'm going so to. The plan this is going to go on the front of my card like that, so, oh, and I have already die cut this lovely shape so and I've done it with oh, gold so foil was. and I thought this would look lovely behind here just poking That's out like so. very pretty so what I'm going to do is I'm yeah. going to just using my liquid glue put some, some dots on, on the sentiment on. it will be and kept in place with do, the oh, the sentiment in basic grey with the flower well, let's do that piece. So we'll put the card together. Just want to that's it. Like so. So tired. And this I'm but going okay. to attach Just with some dimensionals. Ah oh, so. you made good time, Val, didn't you? That there was go. really a good time. And then you had a dose. Well you deserve a dose. Those of you that know me know oh, I like dimensionals. Well, so I like to put a lot <laughs> on my pieces. 
so I'm using basic oh, we'll If you're going to send something black. through the post, it's better to have more support than not enough. I'm stamping that on. There you go. And this is one of the... I think this is the label lovely... Oh, what's it called? Let me just have a look. This label is the Label Me Fancy Punch. Okay, and that's just going to pop on there. Even oh, got a penny, the back of any one of my dimensionals stuck to my finger. If you Typical. fall asleep, Val, then let's pop that down. We won't mind. There we go. You need to rest up, don't you? And it definitely needs a oh, sentiment. So and what I had here. done is I had this is going to go on here. Good. Die cut. Now right. we have got a lovely so punch let me this to my called the dual oval base. punch, and it gives you these two shapes. Right. Have you worked out, Val? Yes, as here it is on I my desk. So you can see, you get a plain one and you get a scalloped one, all in one punch, which is so the designer series paper. Now I should have done this earlier. So I what I'm going to do is I'm going to paper. emboss this as well. So this is my thank you. Okay. So I'm just going to stamp this again with Versamark. I'm going to get it straight. And I'll show you the other cards that we've made. If you didn't see them at the end. So. I'm going to have right, to do a so little bit more embossing. Go in so just get that out of the way so I can bring in my embossing tray again. And I think this is a smoky slate piece. So and this is going to go on here. when we did mystery stamping on Wednesday we had a little bit of our rectangle showing either side just use my brush can you see there's a few little okay. loose pieces there and then this is going to go just on there I'm going to pop it on with a dimensional <coughs> and this is definitely one that I will put a bow on okay. when I get it when it comes I'm even going to put any pearls or anything like that on. I think that's just go. nice as it is. They found out that what they had done last time had knitted itself back together again. This is just going to pop on the front of my card. Oh, blimey, Val. I'm whether to put the piece on or just have that on its own. So oh, that I think was I'm just going to have that on its own. So I just need to add it? a dimensional on this oh, side. Blimey. Oh, well, let's keep doing? fingers you crossed. Find this. But this My time, dimensionals it always works. walk away from where I want yeah. them. Yeah. Whoops. And if they've made it bigger this time, there go. Just then put that is going to be dimensional perfect, over there. Isn't it? Right, now. So, and a little blob I'll cut of glue. A bit glue. more designer series paper up. Like so. What I did was. Da -da -da -da, cut that. And a bit of that. Now that I'm hoping there's got, because I've cut one of these lovely shapes, there we go. and this comes and from. And I obviously need to put the inside the, in my card. This lovely die, and I can't think what it's this got. This is going to awesome. pop in here. No. The stamp and set is all is fabulous, and the dies are called fabulous florals. 
and you can use it to cut out these flowers but you have got this lovely lovely shape does this remind you of a nurse's buckle because when i first saw it I, it's what i thought straight away it's just like I'm a just nurse's buckle there, and then there's plenty and what of what i've room done then. is i've actually die cut it because i didn't have any any um there we go and I, I think it needs a few pearls, don't you? That's something I'm going so to have to bring in list some of pearls. I've got a, sh a sheet of them there. here. And so I is, will use gold my in them. Then there are flowers. Take your pick tool. So this is going to go end. So useful for That's picking up there. pearls and jewels. And I thought this could go across here. Oh, did I forget to take the back mm -hmm. off that? That's going to go like that. And what I thought I, I could I do is I would stamp oh, the flower. There we go. And as we're doing embossing, I'm going to oh, do it. I'm going to emboss it again. I'm having fun with the embossing powder today. So, my little embossing buddy. Just uh, dot them about. And I'm going to stamp the flower. There's three. I think that's probably enough, actually, because we've got a lot on there with our embossed card. So there's my card, all finished. A very simple, beautifully embossed background with a heat yes, embossed yes, flower. Does, Linda, so thank you very sorry. much for watching. I will do a blog post, to see what and if any of these products are of interest to you, right, they are so available in my online store. So there. thank you very much for watching. In fact, Bye. I might as well do two, might now while I'm doing it.